All right, it's Sunday afternoon and I have been uh, Christmas shopping and I hit two Goodwills and I wanted to show you a couple of things. This thing is a huge bolo. However, it's not gonna be for sale because my boys uh, been beating me up since the last time I bought one of these and sold it. You put a coin in his hand and he flips it into his mouth and he chews it. And he's from like 1988. Um, uh, and look, he licks his lips. It's so funny. Uh, 1988 Radio Shack. And these sell for parts not working. They sell for $20, $25. This one would be like 40 plus shipping but it's gonna go in somebody's stocking or under the tree because I bought one a couple of years ago and my boys just did not stop talking about it for like two years after I sold it. This bag is completely full of, not vintage, but they're Levi's 505s. Oh, here's another bag of them. Levi's 550s. 44.32. So this bag and the other bag, 10 pairs total. Uh, they were $4 a pair. And my thought is if I sell them or if I put two together, two, I was doing that below the camera. Uh, if I put two of them together, then I'm only $8 in and probably I can get $30 for the pair. And even if that's including shipping they'll ship for um i'll have to look and see if i can get two of them in a flat rate envelope but that'll give me some multi-quantity listings that i can i think i can make some money on at four dollars a pair i wouldn't necessarily have bought one but because they had 10 for some reason now that i'm saying it out loud i'm like i wouldn't buy one but since i can buy 10 at the same price we'll see i think i can make some money because I can lot them together. Even if I have to lot them together in sets of four um, and then ship them using pirate ship, I'll make some money, I'll figure it out. Look at this. Other Goodwill that I went to, this is my second Goodwill today. Uh, I walked in and they were rolling a rack out and I'll show you the four things that I pulled off that rack. $4.99, it's not starters, it's Logo 7. Bears, like puffer, jacket with the big vintage logo on the back and it's in really nice shape favorite find you may not be familiar you probably are uh zubas i think i know the brand i don't know how you say that necessarily bears puffer jacket 80s as it can be and by chalk line this is rare as hen's teeth you don't find these uh jackets so that is a, uh, that's a seriously cool find. This is a, I think it's Lee Nutmeg. Yeah, Lee. Um, and it is 1995. Seattle Mariners, we're talking Ken Griffey Jr. era. Coming up. Well hit deep to right field, Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle Mariners. It's iconic looking kiss long sleeve tour t-shirt 2005 i mean it's not old old but it's uh it's a long sleeve rolling stones tour t-shirt so that's a pretty good find everything was four or five six seven eight nine ten four ninety nine you guys want to see the whole thing let's do that garth brooks 2014 tour shirt hat i already pulled the 2.99 label off of that this is the first thing i've ever sourced at ross it was 10.99 new with tags it's like a zipper hoodie comps were like 25 dollars plus shipping this i just thought the tag was super cool it's a, like a disco polyester kind of shirt but it's brown so i don't know it was 222 was the regular price and then it was a half price color so that was like a dollar and 11 cents $4.99, we already looked at this Zubas um, jacket. Uh, we already looked at this Seattle. Um, this is um, Fruit of the Loom 
3X, made in the U.S., um, blank sweatshirt. I do fairly well with blank sweatshirts. This one being a 3X, I think will will do fairly well. And it's $2.22. Uh, this one is an old Western shirt. I think it was $2.22 as well. And yeah, $2.22. And it's just a vintage Western button snap shirt. This one was uh it had the screen stars tag and it's totally blank on the front it was 222 and i didn't realize i don't know how why i didn't think to look at the back but i ended up with this uh saint francis is the local hospital so it's a vintage hospital t-shirt from the hospital down the street um you guys saw this this comped higher than i thought it would it's like 50 bucks this uh Rolling Stone shirt, pretty excited about that. Rammstein, Duhast, Duhast music. Um, that's uh, this was I think this was two twenty two. Um, I'm not all their shirts are two twenty two. Sometimes if it has a tag on it, if it's new with tag. Even if it's new with tag from Walmart, it's six forty one. Shirts that they don't know anything about are two twenty two. So I think. These were 222 as well. TV Guide. You remember when they used to print a physical magazine to tell you what to watch on broadcast TV? Um, that's not happening anymore. $2.22 at the old Goodvilles. Um, eight pairs of Levi 550s. And then these are $2.22. Redhead brand. I didn't realize they were that cheap. And they're insulated. They're uh flannel lined so i always buy flannel lined almost always buy flannel lined jeans if i'd realized these were 222 i would have picked them up no matter what they were i didn't realize that neil young that's for keeps i used to have this cd and i didn't uh haven't seen it in a long time so when it was 99 cents this one actually comps fairly high like 10 bucks shipped um 99 cents both CDs are in there. I may keep that. I may sell it. This one I thought I would buy to resell. And I don't comp enough in the store because this one is worth like five bucks shipped. Um, so I'm not selling it because it's better than that to keep. This is a Christmas ornament from 1981. New in the package. Hummelworks. Hummelwork. It's a very German name. But it's from New York. I didn't comp this either. But it is all there. I opened it, and then all the bags are unopened. Five bucks. 1986. 1986. I'm always torn about Mark McGuire. He made history, but he uh, cheated to do it. Um, and I just don't feel like his stuff sells super well. That's my issue. I don't I don't care much about baseball at all. I certainly don't care about the Cardinals. But uh, this is a holographic Mark McGuire 70 home runs shirt from uh, 1998. So fly. Oh, my goodness. Knit. Like, this is knit. Soccer balls. Uh, in the middle of this, uh, jerseys. Vintage XL, three ninety nine. Could not pass that up. That was too cool. Uh, this was new with tag Game of Thrones, uh, three ninety nine. New with tags. It was originally twelve ninety nine. I don't know. That one probably wasn't the best pickup ever, but I just think this is so nerdy that it's cool. Uh, basic editions, vintage, three ninety nine. Two dollars and twenty-two cents. This it says MGG, I think, is what that's supposed to say on the front. Gas Monkey GMG, Gas Monkey Garage Dallas. It's like a work shirt. Um, it has like red cap. So that's a that's cool. I don't know what that's worth, but it's pretty darn cool. This is a. I just liked this print. It's a Loot Crate t-shirt. Um, so it's probably not worth much, but guess what? It was $2.22. Uh, 
Um, Goodwill's around here getting better pricing. Um, so that will sell to somebody. I just, it probably sell for $8 and I'll make two or three bucks on my $3 investment. This one's so good. Boats and ladies of ill repute. The first word in entertainment, prestige. $2.22. Um, there, this was, there was a lady trying to convince her son he needed this shirt. He's like, I don't care about that. Just being a teenager. That's my day today. I don't know if I'm going to end this video here or if you, uh, or if I'm going to add some more stuff tomorrow. I guess I got a bunch of what solds. Let's do that. All right, well, while it's seconds later for you guys, it is the next morning for me. It's like 10 minutes after six or something. And I got up early to try to get some stuff done before I got to homeschool three kids. Anyway, this is a Volkswagen. This sold while I was getting ready to pull everything else. Volkswagen hoodie that I picked up for a dollar at a garage sale over the summer, sold for $17.99, free shipping. It'll go in a priority flat rate, so I'll end at like $9 profit on that. This is a uh, Joy Dog Food K Brands winter hat. I picked this up with all that CB stuff the other day, paid approximately a dollar for it, uh, but you guys know I'm well into the profit on any of that stuff. And so um, that, uh, that sold for 24 I want to say it sold for $24.99. I want to say 1973, and so I will. Uh... <laughs> Finally starting to move these things. Two of these Pe Zelda Breath of the Wild pens. I picked them up for 99 cents, and they sold for, they sell for $7.99 free shipping. Sold out of Christmas light bulbs. I sold, like, this person bought four packs this person bought two packs this person also bought two packs and this person bought one pack and that is all the quantity i had on the ebay store so we'll see if that's everything that i had i think i left one or two in case something got broken because they're light bulbs gremlin book i've sold them a ton of these probably like 40 three dollars and fifty cents plus shipping um I'm way in the profit on them. I think I paid 15 cents a piece for them, but they've been selling one at a time for a year and a half. This is a Baywatch tank top. I thought about keeping this one, but nobody wants to see that. It sold for $10 free shipping. I paid $1.11 because it was a $2.22 and a half price tag color at Goodwill probably six months ago okay so this one is another one that is part of a toy and not a good condition part of a toy this would have been pulled by a truck it probably would have had some kind of hay bales or something that go on top of the trailer uh sold for 3.99 plus shipping but it was just in the bottom of a box of toys that i was buying and so i listed it and it sold and it made some money and somebody's going to enjoy it and it's not going to end up in a landfill so I'm not totally sure that I explained this super well, so I thought I would hit it again. Um, I sold a bunch of light bulbs. I had one person, I had two people buy one four pack of light bulbs for $12.99. I had two people buy two packs of uh, light bulbs for $12.99. And I had one person buy four packages of light bulbs. So that's four, six, eight, ten. At $12.99 yesterday. Um, so that was th that $5 box of light bulbs went pretty far. I have a handful of extras and I'm gonna not relist those until these are delivered, which probably means I'll be selling them after Christmas. But I just wanna make sure in case somebody gets something broken that I can replace it. Um, but we're out of the light bulb game and I sold all of those packs for $12.99 and there were. 17 of them so that five dollar investment turned into a good deal of money so i did some math and five dollars is my cost of goods i figured three dollars a piece shipping and uh fees i made 136 dollars on that five dollar investment 
that's that that was pretty solid all right well let's go ahead and call that a day it'll be a pretty good video at this point i think and uh i don't know how long it'll be so thanks for sticking in there thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and uh we'll see you on the next one